there was a question about the United Nations Model Tax Convention versus the OECD Model Tax Convention. We, we see most developed countries uh, rely on the OECD as the basis for their double tax agreements. The United Nations um, uh, Model Tax Convention is typically relied upon by many uh, developing countries, many of which are in Africa, such as Kenya, Botswana, Namibia, um, and Zambia. And, and I guess, um, to put it sort of quite simplistically, the, um, the key difference is that the OECD Model Convention supports a residence-based taxation, okay, whereas the UN model supports a source-based taxation. Therefore, this is why it is more often used, uh, the UN Model Tax Convention is more often used by um, undeveloped countries, and um, the um, UN Treaty allows capital importing countries to retain their taxing rights, whereas the OECD typically shifts the taxing rights to the capital exporting countries. So um, if the United States, uh, on, based on its OECD model, although it does have its own model, uh, which is quite different in many respects to the UN or to the OECD, uh, it would typically retain the taxing rights as a, a resident-based jurisdiction, whereas your, your classic um, U, UN model um, even though you're a, a, um, a net importer of capital, uh, if, if the transactions are sourced in that particular country, that is who will retain the right to tax. And so there are many differences, and one, one, one cannot just take this as, you know, sort of a cookie-cutter process. You need to look very carefully at what what the provisions of the different tax treaties are, but that just gives you sort of a, a broad brush um, indication of the, the, of the differences.